can I get you gone? You know what? I'm gonna go with the ginger ale. <laughs> you know what? Make it a diet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta check if we have that. Okay, you do that. Beer if we don't? I'm gonna take it up and not you can go with the water. Okay? <laughs> French! Brother, are you gonna do something about this? Go fuck it. Right, break it up! Break it up! Let him go. Take it outside. Get outside now! Fuck off, Harry Styles. This don't concern you. Listen, mate. You can kick seven shades of shite out of each other for all I care, but you're doing it outside, otherwise it is my concern. Who the fuck do you think you are? France, don't do it. Now listen, mate. Calm down, okay? You see him? See that guy? His name's Irv, and that's my boss. Now he's giving me strict instructions. I've got to take all violence outside the premises, OK, lads? Because I've had a few unfortunate events over the past few weeks, and I've caused a bit of damage, and I promised him I'm going to turn over a new leaf, OK? So please, take it outside and let me finish my breakfast. All right? <laughs> what do you reckon, lads? Shall we march his faggy English ass outside like we did 100 years ago? More like 250 years, I think, but that's by the by, isn't it? Anyway, it wasn't exactly a fair fight back then, was it? It was us against you, and we kicked your sorry asses all the way back across the Atlantic. I sent you home crying. Your bitch queen! <laughs> no, I think you did, mate. <laughs> well, it wasn't the queen, actually, mate. No, it was uh, King. King George III, to be precise, but well, I wouldn't expect you not to know that. I mean, you probably never read a book in your life, have you? So allow me to educate you geriatric yank fucks. So you had help from the Spanish, the French, oh, and the Dutch. And yeah, all right, we might have taken a bit of a kick in, but the odds were against our boys, just like they are against me now, to be honest. But do you know what? I fucking like these odds. It's like good old King George always used to say, Go the fucking get it! <laughs> 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 So did I, Frenchie, believe me. A story for another time. Outside, French. A word. I love this fucking place. Mm. Don't do this, okay? I need this job. I need it, my place. Don't do this. And I need a club that doesn't have to get renovated once a week because of what you do. Listen, brother. After the cost of the bust up furniture and your unpaid bar tab, there's 80 bucks. Good luck. Oh, 80 bucks, yeah? Yeah? Well, good luck finding someone else to scrape up the shit that comes in this place. It's a shit hole, mate! <laughs> well, it's nice to see that things working out for you, pal. I'm very happy about that, I am. Hey, you know, what it's worth if, uh, if you want to finish that breakfast. This place next door, maybe we can, you know. Why are you buying? Since you got no job no more. Why not? Come on, Frenchie. Oh, it's still just French, by the way. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> mm. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. 
you sat right here in front of me. I thought for sure that you were a gunner. Mm. Believe me, I was. Flat by two times on that slab. Yeah? Mm. Jesus. It wasn't for Tommy, I probably wouldn't be here right now. I paid a lot of money to make me them dead. Yeah. Got shot up pretty bad, Frenchie. Stomach. One vertebrae. One up here in the lung. Can you imagine? You know? And actually, I have to leave one in near my spine. Fuck. Yeah. Well, kudos to you, mate, because, uh, you know what? As far as zombies go, you're looking all right. Mm. So where's my cope? Oh, I'm fine, see. Don't worry about the injuries I took. Yeah, thanks for asking. No, I'm no, fine. no, it's not like that. Just, yeah, just because of the, um... Oh, come on, Frenchie. How you doing, really? I'm sorry, just... How you doing? I'm all right. Yeah? I'm pretty good. Yeah? So two in the chest. One here, one there. I don't know, but somehow I managed to crawl back to the car, right, and drive myself to the emergency room. Well, I'm surprisingly all right. I mean, I seen a soldier shoot himself in the foot and he died. Yet yeah, I take two in the chest. Somehow I managed to live to tell the tale. <laughs> Human body made a fucked up thing, I'm telling you. I'll tell you this as well. Mm -hmm. I had to blag the police at the hospital, though. I told them my gun went off whilst I was cleaning it. <laughs> but they bought that, am I right? <laughs> yeah, they did. I don't know. Maybe they couldn't be asked with the paperwork. Well. Hmm. So was my cook. Didn't shoot out of that loving bedside manner of yours, did they? Frenchie, where's my fucking car? I fucking sold that car, mate. You did what? You did what? To, 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 with who? With what? What? I sold the car to a chop shop, didn't I? Didn't have a fucking choice, did I? It was covered in my own blood, wasn't it? Listen, that was like a bullseye for every gangster in East LA, so I flogged that thing. Let me ask you something. By chance, how much did you sell this classically designed vehicle for? I don't know, it's about six grand. So... Fuck me, Frenchie! Six grand? Six... Just the fucking rims alone are worth six fucking grand. You understand hey. that, right? I am sorry. Everything is under control. My apologies. You know, you're unbelievable. And I don't like this... this tone. What tone? Just tone. I haven't got a fucking tone. Oh, yeah, you about? do. You do. I come as a friend. I catch the bus to come and see my friend. I come all this way and you give me this tone. Now, you caught the bus, mate, to come and get your precious coupe. Is that the only reason you come here, then? Actually, no. It's not the only reason. I came for Tommy. He's got a job for us. Two days, three weeks. We're in, we're out. What do you say? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Fuck off, mate. Yeah? Do you know what? I only did that job for three days, and we both almost fucking died. No chance. Get stuffed. Never again. Can't do it. That's listen to you, right? Let me tell you something else. It's a favor of Tommy. You owe him. No, I don't think I do. OK, you tell me one. I'll do it for Tommy. You can do it for the money. <sighs> I ain't that desperate, mate. Oh, yeah? We both know that's not true, right? Come on, French, think about it. Get the split 70K. How much? Hmm? How much? 70K. One more job and you can be gone forever. You can go home, you can do whatever it is the fuck you want to do. You can open your gym. Besides, Frenchie, you know, I need this one. You'll be doing me a square one, yeah? I'm getting nowhere with the just call me French thing, am I? It's a term of endearment. Yeah, whatever, Susan. One last job. Yeah. Three last jobs. When you think about it, tell you one. For our previous discussion, I'll take care of breakfast. I might leave another 20. Why? Because I can't. You want more of this? I'll see you outside. That's what we've been doing for the past seven months, away, apart from rising from the dead. You didn't think it might be a nice idea to, uh, let me know you were still alive. Well, I did consider doing that Frenchie, but Tommy told me to remain incognito, so that's what I did, yeah? Yeah, he said the same thing to me, too. That's why I've been working out of this shit pit. What a coincidence. I get fired the same day you turn up. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. What the fuck is this? It's called a car, mate. No, it's a wheelchair with a fucking roof, Frenchie. You traded in my classic for this piece of shit. You should be ashamed of yourself. It doesn't drink gas like a battleship. It's clean, it's quiet, and it doesn't smell like your ass on the inside. All right. 
Now look, if we're gonna do this, I'm gonna have to go home and get a change of clothes. Oh, no, no, no. Got no time for you to change, okay? You look beautiful. I'm on a time schedule. Where are we off to first, then? Las Vegas. Is that okay with you? Vegas. Vegas. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Frenchie, how about we take it easy with the DJ, eh? Hey? Pete, what do you say? <sighs> so where are we headed to in Vegas then, mate? We're sticking with the big. Oh, the old big, eh? So, we are... Have a look, Frenchie. My specs must have... Hang on a minute. Vegas is number two on this list. How come we're going there first? And who's this Mal Reese bird? A little tip, Frenchie. Always stop further away from home and work your way back, yeah? Mal Reese. Mal Reese is a bona fide class at that of Louisiana, yeah? That old man moved there when he was a kid, Frenchie, to work for the Ukrainian crime family. Wasn't a purebred, so one day he got an old B.E., one behind the ear. Anyways, it was the mid-80s. Mal was in her late 20s, so she started working for the family under an alias, yeah? Pretty smart girl, Frenchie. She didn't know everything. Where every penny was banked, where every body was buried. After time, she developed a lot of power. Slowly but surely, she became very rich and very powerful. And one day, she decides to wipe out the whole fucking family. I'm locked in with her for about three years. She was the best fuck on the West Coast. Crazy ones usually are, am I right? Are you serious? Don't fucking say anything. Don't even think you know anything, okay? Because if she looks in your eyes and she thinks that I told you a fucking word, she'll kill us both. I mean it, yeah? Fuck, it sounds like a right crazy bitch to me. Oh, she is Frenchie, but I don't want to wind up hurting her, you know, physically, I mean. I'm done for violence, brother. I'm done. Done with violence? What's that supposed to mean? It means no more hurting my fellow man. <laughs> no more hurting my fellow man? Are you taking the piss, mate? No, I'm not taking the piss. What I'm trying to tell you is maybe, okay? Maybe it was fucking life-threatening. Well, good luck with that, mate. Yeah, we'll see how you get on with that. Answer me this, though, right? How do you expect to collect three vigs in two days and not get your little paws muddy? How's that gonna work? That's why I got you here. No. No, 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 no. You want me to do this with you? We're gonna do 50-50, right? Partners. You're not gonna be warming up the bench whilst I get roasted in the thick of it again. Let's hope it doesn't get to that. Well, it probably fucking will, won't it? Let's be honest. Do me a favor. Pull over to the next stop, friendship, and use a drink. Sure, real friendship. Don't go there inside. Walking his ass over here. Yeah. Fucker really coming over. Sub lads, can I give you something? I don't know, French, can you? Clock's ticking, motherfucker. Tick, tock, tick. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch ass motherfucker, man. Hmm. 
You okay, Frenchy? You see that black SUV there? Oh, yeah, I see it. Right, yeah? Yeah. There's a couple of massive blokes inside. One of them's got a fuck-off machine gun, and he knew my name. What's that about? Well, they've been following me ever since I left LA. You what? Oh, yeah. And actually, they were outside your dive bar up in Rancho. Let me ask you, what happened to your paratrooper observation skills back there, Frenchy? Just wondering. Oh, I don't know, mate. Maybe it was a little bit dull from the kicking I just took. Why are they telling us? No, no, Frenchy. Maybe they're working for who Tommy's collecting for. What for? To make sure we get the money or what? Oh, yeah. To make sure we get the money and then make sure we don't run away with the money, okay? Come Why on. Why the fuck would we run away with the money, mate? And who's Tommy collecting for? Frenchy, I don't have the answers to all these questions. Yeah, all I know is it's the right play. We get the money back to Tommy, take the cream off the vac, and we get on our way. Come on. Avante, let's go. Miss Reese is a busy woman, so be judicious in your conversation. Get to the point quickly. Follow me. Check out the thighs on that, mate. How much do you reckon she charges people to put them in a scissor hold? I'm telling you, be serious, you're gonna get us both killed. Fucking hell. Sound check still going. So stay out the way. Time to get them a drink? All right, Mrs. We should be right with you. Kill. Hey, I'll take a water, please. I'm done. Let's go, whiskey. It's a nice place. You should have stayed with her. Frenchie, just, just be serious, yeah? Thank you. Sulinski Golden Boy Baker. The return of the main contender. Mel Reese. Still a knockout. Yeah. But we both know it was you that got knocked out. Never quite made it back from that night. You know what? Maybe I never will, Mel. But either way, it's really nice to see you again. Well, the sun is over the yard arm, and I know you were never one to say no to a drink. <laughs> Actually, uh, kind of all finished with that now, Mel. Yeah, clean and sober all the way. We're just here on business. Tommy called. It's the 155K that I was loaned. We're gonna have to collect. While the money's ready, I got it prepared after the phone call. But... No games, okay? No games. I borrow a large sum of money to save my bacon, and the money comes from a really bad cat, but then he goes and gets himself killed, so I think I got lucky and got off. But then you show up on my doorstep to collect. Who's playing games with who, Sue? Listen, love, we've traveled a very long way through a hot, bloody desert to collect this, okay? We're not here to push your foot around, so if you've already prepared the readies, let's have it, and we'll clear out, yeah? Does the English shoe salesman know who he's talking to and what I do to bad little boys who talk out of turn? Actually, Mallory, we were just discussing this. There's a hard time listening, but it's okay. In my club, you call me Miss Reese. It's a term of respect, and I demand... Miss Reese. Please, give us the money, and we'll go, okay? What is your name, little boy? It's, uh, it's French. They call me French, just like the kiss. You cut me off, Mr. French. It's just French, by the way. Okay, listen, Mallory, we've come a long way from L.A. We have to go all the way back. We're very tired, okay? Just, please. You've met Miss Britt. She has your money. Give the bag to Mr. French. Go, French. She'll be shooting some footage. Film Mr. French, checking the money's all there and accounted for. You know what, Mallory? Maybe you should keep filming until we get all the way to the car if you're planning on like, showing this tape to Tommy. Good idea. Film them all the way to the car. Good. Ah.
I'll tell you what, that was a piece of piss, wasn't it? She just gave us some money. Hard to my ass, mate. What's your problem? She gave it up way too easy, French, okay? <laughs> Mel Reese, don't listen to me. That's not the Mel Reese I know. Trust me. Jesus Christ! Didn't I fucking tell you, Frenchie, that she is right on cue, yeah? That's why they were filming us. I've heard it being done before, but no one's ever done it to me. Do me a favor. Get us out of this mess. Do something slick, yeah? <laughs> Frenchie, very impressive. You really Shut up. Shoulder, Look, you can take the wheel whenever you want, you know. It wouldn't make a difference, right? Because this piece of shit couldn't get away anyway. Okay. What do we got here? Machine gun, three batons. What do you want to do? We can curb that shit about denouncing violence for a start. Because it ain't denouncing you, is it, mate? Hey? Is it? We're just here for the money, boys. Play nice. We'll be nice back. Look at this prick. AK-47, that is pretty much the wankiest assault rifle anyone could get. Two million Russian soldiers would disagree with you. Yeah, but look how he's limp wrist in the receiver. I bet this prick's never had a rain session in his life. OK. If he gets close enough, I'm going to take him. You can dance with the other three, yeah? Wait a minute. You get to take out one, I get to take out three. How's that fit? I'm going to take the one with the assault rifle, Sue. You just told me he didn't know how to hold the gun. And one of yours is a girl. She looked like a girl. It's a fucking monster. You hit them, they go down. Simple. Come on, French. Look, I haven't hit a woman in a long time, brother. Well, that means you're rested then, doesn't it? Yeah? So go on, get out there and give it a bit of the old golden boy hospitality. You remember how to do that, yeah? Out of the car, asshole. Ah! <laughs> 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 I think we'll run for now. This ain't over. Well, let's get something straight. We're not the ones running. Go on, get out of here. Go on, get out of here. Come on, son. <laughs> nice work, old man. Guess being dead didn't dampen your technique. <sighs> she walking the tunnel. She hit me in the head with a bat. Oh, come on, mate. She didn't give you a choice. Wouldn't beat yourself up about it. Guys, gonna rolling around in the dirt. Oh, it's nice to see you guys show up. Yeah, here's an idea for you. How about next time you get out and you give us a fucking hand? <laughs> nah. Yeah. We just like watching you two fight. Not bad for a couple of has beans. <laughs> Fuck off. Look at Blondie, man. I recognize those eyes anyway. I'm telling you, dog, is him. What you think, Prince? What is it? Who are you, man? Jesus, who are these guys, sir? I don't know. You should I be worried about who the fuck they're working for? Let's just focus on the job. We talked about it. One down, two to go. Let's just move on. We gotta go. No, 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 no. No. No way I'm driving back through the night to Los Angeles, okay? No chance. We're checking into a motel. I need my rest. We're on a time schedule. We need to have the money in by Friday. We yeah, talked about Yeah, I need some this. goddamn rest if I'm expected to keep smashing people senseless. Listen, mate. These machines, they don't work without the cog. What? The cog. The machines don't work. Now the cog. Oh, no, Jesus Christ, Fuck. Frenchie. Come I need some rest. Okay, you win. Hotel for sure. Let's go. So we got the money from now, Reese. It's the first one down. Two to go. She play nice? Oh, you know, nice enough, I guess. 
But um, I got a question, you know. Seem to have picked up some company. Two brothers armed to bear. They've been shadowing us from LA. They happen to be part of this deal. Yeah, just making sure you don't blow with the dough. Yeah. I don't figure it's such, right? How you doing, Tommy? You doing okay? Don't worry about me. Just worry about the next two jobs. Well, I don't know. Is there anything else? Maybe I need to know about this one, yeah? Uh, it's kind of hard to talk right now. Yeah, I understand, Tommy. No problem. I'll check in with you tomorrow, okay? You look after yourself. <sighs> I'm sorry I got you into this suit. Is that you, Frenchie? Come on in, it's open. Managed to snag one of these from across the street. I thought it might help me sleep. Come in, come in. What do you got there? Ah, uh, you know, mate, got a bit of the old uh, rooster. Rooster roll old. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine this is my brand, Frenchie? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Not very thoughtful of you, but uh, I'm afraid I must decline. Stone cold turkey. And I meant what I said, but thank you, Frenchie. Nice no, search. I thought you were bullshit. Oh, no. Yeah? Well, I guess getting shot by a machine gun will make you reevaluate those decisions in life, yeah? By the way, it's 100% blue agave. You got the good stuff. So come on then, mate. <laughs> Said you died twice, right? You see anything? I mean, you know, like bright lights or your life flash before your eyes? Yeah. How about you? What did you see? What did I say? No, I wasn't anywhere near close to bumping off like you, mate, but, um, well, to be honest, it's kind of embarrassing. Embarrassing? Why is that? Well, look, I don't know if I was hallucinating or what, but the nurse that willed me into the ICU, she was fit as fuck, mate, I'm telling you. Honestly, right? Platinum blonde hair, blue eyes, narrow waist, right? And the nurse's outfit? I didn't know where to look. So anyway, right, it's fucking freezing in this place, right? It's like the Baltic, yeah? And I'm shivering like some sort of shitting dog. But I'm trying to keep it together because I'm looking up at this bird and she's cutting my clothes off. And I'm trying to be like the Fonz, you know? Like getting shot is just a regular occurrence for this stud, you know what I mean? So anyway, there she is. She cut off my jeans, she cut off my underwear. And before I know it, I am stark, <laughs> bollock, naked, okay? Now here's the thing. I'm not a small man, Sue, OK? I'm no thoroughbred stallion either, but it's a perfectly healthy size, right? But the thing is, it is so fucking cold in this place, right? My old fella has decided to shrink back into his hole to the size of a little nub, right? It's like a fucking thimble, mate. It was pathetic. I mean, just when you want him to, like, stand up proud, nothing. It's fucking embarrassing. If I might, Frenchie, I must admit that uh, it would make any man blush, yeah? So come on then, mate. What about you? You must remember something. Right. We're tight, right? Of course we are, mate, yeah? No? Because what happened to me was perfect, yeah? Absolutely perfect. And to be honest, the chance to finally tell someone you respect makes it feel all the more special. I saw her, Richie. I saw Millie. She was smiling, she was waving back at me, and that's the thing, you know? She was happy. She wasn't disappointed in her old man, as I thought she would be all these years. She looked like a little angel staring back at me. She made me so happy, Frenchie, I could have just faded away right there. Yeah. That's beautiful, mate. Bloody hell, here I am, banging on about my tiny cock, and you've got to nip me with the uh, one-two knockout emotional punch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not really a religious man, so... Don't really believe in any of that, but... Whatever that was... You got to see me. You need to, French. You need to. 
That's good stuff. Take it easy on that stuff, okay? We've got an early rise in the morning. Yeah, I'll be fine, mate. Don't worry about me. Oh, you were right, by the way. You know the day we got shot? I should listen to you. If I listened to you, we'd both be better off than we are now, that's for sure. Glad you're still alive, mate. So let's kick back a little bit, yeah? Wait till Leona gets here. Do me a favor, wake me up when he does. I'm gonna take a little nap. Yeah, right, mate. You get your beauty sleep. I'm serious, French. You just, just wake me up, yeah? I don't want it to be too much of a stretch. Listen, mate, the only one around here who needs to do some stretching is you. <laughs> Got it done. Have a nice nap. Coffee, Frenchy. Jesus Christ, man. Do you uh, gimp out like that every morning? Just start the engine, sir. Sounds like you're raping a rocking horse to me. Let's take a look at the big, shall we? Okay. All right. Esteban Madrid, 95,000. City of Angels Boxing Club. What, 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 what? It's a boxing club. I didn't realize it was a boxing club. It's because you don't concentrate when you read things, don't you? Yeah, that's right, you. I know this guy. He's been around, he's trained a lot of good fighters. Let me tell you, the number of these guys that can actually fight is woefully fucking small. Yeah, same as pro MMA. Yeah, well, pro boxing, maybe it's a little different. Yeah? You know, it's precise. There's discipline. There's these. Yeah? Hang on a minute, you're trying to tell me that martial arts doesn't involve discipline? Because... <laughs> I think a lot of people might disagree with that, mate. What's Just that? a few people. It's not what I'm saying, Frenchy, OK? And I'm also not saying that a box is going to beat an MMA guy. What I am saying is it's the sweet science. It's fucking classy. Oh, yeah, mate. Really classy, yeah. Buying people's ears off. I mean, come on. Doesn't whoa, get whoa, more corrupt. French, French. What? Is it fucking open? Did it go inside? Ah, uh, you don't know, right? You're supposed to be on fucking watch, Frenchie. Oh, I'm sorry, mate, but I was getting you a coffee, wasn't I? This here is the difference between us leaving with the money and getting our fucking asses kicked by a bunch of price fighters, yeah? All I'm saying is, you look sloppy. Listen, mate, I'm not the one kipping on the job, am I? That's you, mm. eh? I wouldn't be kicking if I didn't have to fucking drive this piece of shit yeah, fucking hours across. Whatever, the... come on, let's get in there before the rest turn up, yeah?
Hey, 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 fellas, you can't just walk in and hit the bag. All right, you gotta check in, you gotta sign a waiver. We ain't taking new members right now. All right, so hey, Gramps, Gramps, just take it easy, all right? We don't wanna have to break out the defibrillator for you. Okay? Oh, I wouldn't worry about it, mate. It's tougher than it looks. Yeah, I ain't worried, pal. I'm telling you two assholes to get the fuck out of my gym. Ah, uh, there's no need for language like that, pal. We're here to see Mr. Madrid, okay? So hop along and get him, would you? Fuck off. Listen, mate, if you're gonna get saucy, fucking do something, right? So I got time to piss about comparing who's is bigger. If you knew me, you know that mine is. <laughs> oh, right, okay, you're a tough guy, are you? Yeah. Yeah? A little bit. Okay. Well, you know this confidence that you're showing me right now? It's fucking blind, mate. Because you don't know me from Adam. But what you need to know is that I'm the bloke who's just walked into a boxing club and stepped up to the brashest, gobshy, who ever wanted to crack at the title, and I'm calling him a cunt. And I'm doing it in front of all of his boyfriends, too. Yeah? So either that makes me the biggest dog in the yard, or a complete fucking nutcase. Either way, mate, do as I said. Hop along. Get your boss, yeah? Okay. I will get Mr. Madrid. Yeah, you do now. Yeah, we'll sort this shit out. Oh, you know, for someone that doesn't like his job, you really know how to throw yourself in on Frenchie. Nice. Just trying to get this done and pull this shite behind us. Besides, there are any boxes, right? Come on, tell Sugar to come join us. Tommy said you'd be stopping by. Good. And we don't have to go round and round. Nine five large. Let's have it. That money was a sponsorship deal back at one of my boys. It wasn't a loan, so it's not a debt. I don't borrow money I can't pay back. That's now our money. So you could tell Tommy where he could stick it. Always well, seems to get complicated, doesn't it, sir? Yeah, well, we wouldn't have a job if it didn't, Frenchie. Okay, so look, I've been doing this a very long time, yeah? So? I know. He bested one of my prospects back in the day. He ruined his title shot. Oh, you know who he is then? And you should also know that he's had every goddamn excuse in the book. So listen, mate, we're here nice and early, aren't we? Do me a favor, give us some money and we'll leave you be. Oh, that's all you want? That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, if you're serious about boxing, you should never fight outside your weight division. Sugar! Get in here. These two are here to reclaim your sponsorship cash. Without it, you'll be broke. No sparring partners, no camp, no expenses. We'll see about that. Which one of you pussies is getting your gloves on? I think that'll be you, mate. Yeah. Too much of a sweet science for me anyway, right? Is that right? Yeah. I guess it's you. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something. After I win, I'm gonna take that fucking money, trust me. Yeah. Well, you ain't gonna win. Pick up the gloves, old man. I got this punch. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's go against your new uh, pacifist code. <laughs> this is an unnecessary violence French into sport in its purest form. It duet leads in their prime. Yeah, but you ain't anyway, let's be honest.
good? Come on, mate. Fuck it, mate. I got you, mate. Up you get. I think you moved the bullet. Let's fucking go for it. Oh, you filthy twats. What the fuck was that? The fuck is a twat. You fucking piece of shit. So, come on, mate. Get up. Come on. You can do it. Let's go. Richard, what? you're not too fucking Adam's apples. I'm done. Yes, we're never gonna get that money. Come on, mate. You can do it, golden boy. Let's go. You gonna sub in for your boy? I'm tired of watching him breathe. Richie, listen to me. No matter what, we're living here with the fucking money. Go, go do your thing. Same terms? Same terms, English. Fuck it on, mate. Come on, then. Come on, Frenchie. Okay, here's my little pet dog. You're aware of the Marcus of Queensbury rules, right? Yeah, yeah, well, fuck him. Go do your thing. He's on your six. <laughs> Motherfucker, we're going to get the that fuck money. Fuck you. Get in there! Hey, fuck. Get out of there! Come on, sir! What is this? There's still too many. When I rub when you were here on business. Yeah, that was sponsorship money. Get to do us by fucking Barbosa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, what'd you say? You say Barbosa? You fucking heard me. Fucking sucker punched me. You got a bad habit of doing that, I'm sorry. Stay here, kid. Don't you fucking move. Don't you fucking move! Give me the back, Frenchie! And the gun! Come on! Let's get the fuck out of here, yeah? Joe, let's go! Kid was a ringer. Let me tell you, he was very good. Kid could have been a good champ until you went and splintered his forearm like you did, you know? It was very cold, Frenchie. Very cold. Yeah, well, I told you, boxing was no match for MMA, didn't I? A lot of people would consider that cheating. And I'll tell you something else, Frenchie. You've changed. And you've got a tongue. That's where we're off to next, anyway. Mm. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Okay. Give it to me. Canoga Park, deep in the valley. Joyous. Cyrus Skinner, 255,000. Jesus Christ. Save the FDS for last, then. That's right, Frenchie. That was the plan, brother. Heads up. OK. What are these two doing now? Don't worry about it, Frenchie. Play it cool. OK? Play cool.
Damn. You boys are right on course. Two down and one to go, huh? You okay, though? Because you boys look fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Ask him, man. All right, down and out. O.E. here reckons he saw you in some uh, cheap-ass kung fu fam. Ninja. You the fucking ninja. Jesus Christ. The movie Ninja, the kung fu movie Ninja, that's you, right? Actually, you will be correct, gentlemen. That is me, yes. I told you so, man. I told you. You like that movie, yeah? Me and my brothers used to watch that movie all the time when we were kids, man. Just watch that shit over and over again. Wow. But I ain't fucking with you today, man. Despite that being the best ninja movie I've ever seen. Hang on a minute. Are you telling me you've actually seen this movie? And <laughs> that it was good? Bro, this fucker used to be the shit, man. Yeah? You had that something special. Mm. But what the fuck happened to you? Same thing that's gonna happen to you two boys. It's called life, hmm? It's called life. <laughs> well, maybe you can use some of your ninja skills for your next job. Cyrus Skinner. Let me ask you a question. Don't worry about a friend. No, I want to ask okay. you a question, right? If you two are so on the ball, right, are so gangster, how come we're collecting the debts? Why not doing it yourselves, hey? Well, cuz, Molly wants to see you bleed. For every buck he's old. <laughs> what are you talking about, mate? What are you talking about? No, I'm worried. It's okay. Well, I'm worried about it. Who's Molly? Oh, you'll find out. <laughs> find out what, mate? Wait, I asked you a question. Come on, Frenchie. What the fuck do they know? They're not talking about anything. Come on, fish up. We gotta go. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna make a quick phone call. Be right back. Tell me it's as much a surprise to you as it is to me. They were collecting Barbosa's money for his brother Molly. We've had a good run, cold boy. If I were you, I'd take that money and run. Get the fuck out of here! <clears throat> hey, hey, this is uh, Molly X, your new boss. Listen, you owe me one more collection. So, bring that gold to Molly, and I might cream off the Vig for you. And your boy Tommy can breathe easy again. Tommy, I tried. Let's go, Tommy. It's okay, Pete. You're here, L.A., but here you are. Sit down. <laughs> ah, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. I actually love Los Angeles, man. I get my Stacy Adams shine, the Chamber Brothers on Slauson. I get my suits tailor-made and market in Manchester and Inglewood. I got love for the West Coast, man. Cutty. Good looking. But what I do hate is liars. Now, Either somebody gave you some fucked up information, or you straight lied to me, man. The nature of my business depends on information. That said, I'm not the Encyclopedia Britannica. 
I get mine from the street. So why don't you tell me why you're here, Molly? I'll tell you why I'm here. French and Sue, you assured me they were wasted in the same shootout that cost me my blood. A killing that you swore to my face that you had no hand in. Your brother, Barbosa, was a client. It's bad business to kill clients. So your boy's captain in self-defense before the rest of my brother's crew cut them all down in the blaze of glory. That's what you said, huh? That's what I said. So if that's the straight-up truth, why do I have emissaries out here from Inglewood to Hollywood saying that French and Sue was walking and talking and having a fine-ass time here in the streets of SoCal? <sighs> They're mistaken. Hey! Ah! <laughs> You cold-blooded, Phyllis. That's not a wise choice of words, Tommy. Let me a little pee. Let me <laughs> What can I say, Molly? You, you seem to be three steps ahead. You lied to my fucking face. You disrespect my brother's memory. So for your part in all this, you got to pay in blood equity. Cutty must be out. Perfect timing. You know what? Pop the car over there by the alleyway. Let's get this done as quickly as possible, yeah? Whoa, 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 wait a minute. What are you thinking? Look, I'm sick of getting into punch-ups with these people, right? Let's just get it done quick, yeah? They make yeah. me nervous, French. It up. You guys need something? Cyrus Skinner. You expecting you? I couldn't give a fuck, mate. What'd you say? I said we're looking for Cyrus Skinner, so be a good boy. Run along and find it before I kick the fucking shit out of you. It's okay. It's all right, Knuckle. Take a break from grinding that beat. These lads are here to see me. Come on. Fuck off. Yeah, Tommy called me and told me that you two may swing by. He spoke to Tommy, that's good. So you've rustled up the cash for us then? <laughs> uh, that ain't never gonna happen. I am not paying Tommy one fucking red cent. The loan died with the lender. Capiche? Come on, you can understand that. It's okay, friendship. It's okay, I've got it. Come on, Cyrus. What's wrong with you? Be nice. You know how it works, right? Mom was transferred and he was reactivated, okay? Well, money. You don't get to keep the money. Yeah, well, you know, I was really, really hoping that you two would not 
Try to underestimate me. Well, listen to me, arsehole. You've already spoke to Tommy, that we don't have to tell you who we are and what we get paid to do. No, I know. You fucking English cunt! Do you really think you can intimidate me? You too, you little fucking cocksucker. I was dealing with assholes like you while you were still in fucking That's it. Fucking had enough. You're gonna go up there, you're gonna get the money right now. Frenchie, what no. are you doing? Put the Sue, shut up! What? You think this scares me? Hey! Frenchie! Get back there! No! Shut, shut up, Sue! No! I'm what? fucking sick of this. You get up there right now, you get the money. Fuck you! Why did you pull the oh, fucking fuck trigger? Don't you get move. the money! Do it! Do oh, it! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> This morning, it's right about now your bones are all starting to break. Folding in little pieces around your orbital. Soon you're gonna lose sight in one eye. Maybe you lose a little cognitive reasoning. But that doesn't matter, Cyrus. Wanna know why? Because I'm gonna keep hitting you. And you know what, Cyrus? One day very soon you're gonna be having dinner through a straw with one good eye. So just tell us where the money is, eh? Come on. There you go. Go, go, go to my office and and get the bag. <laughs> Go. Hey, Knuckle! Don't do anything stupid, all right? <sighs> good job at the uh, non-violence thing, by the way. Doing a real good job there, mate. Impressive. Mate, give me French. You have to do something. You're going to put a bolt me, old man. What's that? You're going to shoot him, was I? What do you think of a fucking psychopathic murderer? I was just trying to shit him up. <laughs> fucking running. Go after him. Give me the gun and go after him. Give me the gun. Go after him. Acrobatics? You in the circus? It's parkour, bro. I want to be a stuntman. You should see me on a bike. Stuntman? Nah, nah, mate. Nah, that's a terrible idea. That's dangerous. You're lucky I didn't kick the shit out of you. You just did. Good friendship. Yeah, looks like we're good. Good, let's pack it up and get out of here, yeah? Get it back to Tommy, can give it to Molly, and we can put the whole fucking universe back in the balance. Molly? You talking about Barbosa's psychotic fucking brother, Molly? What'd you just say? <clears throat> uh, Molly's taken over Barbosa's loaned you to us so fuck so, so you know what I just said we've been collecting Barbosa's debts it's, I know for we're I know it's fucked. okay it's okay it's okay for Tommy's me. fucking we'll talk set. about it outside Tell you everything you want to know outside we'll be leaving you now Cyrus yeah you're gonna know pain soon bro <laughs> come on give me the keys Are you okay? Just tell me. Chris, that you didn't know that these are Barbosa's debts we've been collecting for the past two days. Just tell me that. It wasn't positive friendship, not at first. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I don't know, friendship. Tommy calls me out of the blue. He tells me he's got this gangster breathing down his fucking neck and he tells me it's serious, yeah? He tells me he wants me to collect three things in 48 hours. He wants me to do it with you. Yeah? Nobody else. Just you. Specifically, just you. Then when that thug walked into the burger joint and mentioned Molly's name, well, 
I'm gonna tell you, Frenchie, I started to put it all together myself. And you didn't think to tell me this before? Come on, Frenchie, you understand me. I was looking after Tommy, okay? Besides, the one thing I do know is if I told you, you wouldn't have helped me out, right? If you knew, you wouldn't help me. That, that I do know. No, I wouldn't have done. That's right. Do you know why? It's not fucking stupid, that's why. Come on, I'm sorry, Tommy. Fuck off, mate. Frenchie, come on! Brother, you... Come on, think about it. Wait a minute. We're three for three. Three for fucking three, we're on the home stretch. Home stretch to what, mate? A den of fucking vipers? Are you telling me that you're gonna risk your life for this guy? There. I am. Yeah? Yeah. What the fuck's wrong with you? Cause he's gonna fucking die, Frenchie, okay? Hey, you don't know him like I know him. Just... Just calm down for a second, Frenchie. Just listen. Okay, look. When Luke Gimme took my little Millie, I lost everything here. Yeah, my wife. My wife was going down the toilet. I was fucking done. I was fucking done. I was done. It was never me yet again. You understand me? Well, you, I spent a weekend with you, yeah. We busted some heads and I call you my brother. But you can't understand what me and Tommy are to understand how I really feel. You with me? You gotta listen to me now, okay? Just listen to me. We should just do one. And get out of this shit right now. There's $250,000 in this bag. It's another $250,000 in the trunk of that car. So we split the collection down the fucking middle and get out of here while we still can. Don't do it for a chill. Come, come on, don't do it. Oh, fuck you, Sue. I'm doing you a favor here, mate, right? And I've earned this money, so I'm fucking keeping it. Let go of the bag, sir. I can't let you take the bag, Frenchie. Let go of the fucking bag, sir. Make me. <laughs> ah, Jesus, Frenchie, I'm sorry, okay? Look, rings off, I come in peace. I didn't mean that, brother, okay? You fucking hit me. Come on, Frenchie, you fucking hit me. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's it. Just, just give me the bag. I'm not giving you the bag. No, you got you. Give me the bag. No, I'm not giving you the fucking bag. I'm taking that fucking bag. Okay, just leave it. Just fucking stop. Frenchy, please, come on. Okay, come on, please. Break me. I'm taking that bag, sir. What are these idiots doing now? Remember that little conversation we had about MMA versus boxing? Yeah? I win. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to give you an easy way out with that choke, so you know what I'm gonna have to do now? I'm gonna have to fuck you up. Hey, you know how many times I've heard that, Frenchie? What are you gonna do? You gonna kick me? Okay. You know, I gotta be honest, too. 
Always wanted to come out on top if it came down to it. Yeah. No weapon. <sighs> Me too. <laughs> to themselves right now. All right, we'll handle them. Don't you know something, Virgie? Don't you know there's no fucking way I can leave Tommy die like an animal? Hope you understand that, man. What's up? Fucked up. I had money on you, Ninja. You owe me a slice now. Famous. Yeah, you're a couple of tough guys, you lot, aren't you? But we just got your boss's money back, wasn't it? So there you go. Go well, on, take it. You can count on that, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 
Cuddy, pour me a shot of that Rusa Rojo, will you? My man Sue. You got the JU ice. I say that for you. Where's your road dog, Mr. Jiu Jitsu? Lust is up tight for the job. So he left you holding the bags, huh? Eh, good so. Don't you ever listen? The fuck you don't back? See, your man Tommy, he lied to me, man. He said that you were dead. I mean, you look kind of fucked up, but you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't look dead to me, man. Actually, in Tommy's defense, I did die. Twice. So you've been breathing a ball there, right? No? Nah, maybe so. No, Molly. I returned your brother's bounty, right? So how about you take the cream off the vig? You let Tommy go and we'll be on our way. What do you say? How's that sound, Holmes? Yeah. Come on, Tommy. You okay? Get up. Tommy, get up. Let's go. Cutty, shoot Tommy if he moves, man. Let me ask you a question, so Did you really think that you would ever be walking out of here free, man? Did you, did you really think that? Felix, get my fucking dough. Now, okay. Take your money. So how are you, my mommy? I'm gonna fuck by your money. Come on! Don't you fucking move, or I will blow her fucking head clean off. You listen to me, Molly. I ain't playing games here. You got your money, you got what you fucking wanted. You let me and Tommy go. Real simple. Yeah? <laughs> Shoot the fine bitch. You think I give a fuck? Some gangster shit, MOB. No offense, Felix. If you got to have a clean shot, shoot this motherfucker. You see, you just put your money on the wrong color, so... Well, fuck you, I'll do it! Fuck you, stay back, you motherfuckers! Felix. Stay back! Stay back! I'll fucking bug you! Go ahead! You really are a gangster, aren't you? Big bull, hold that for me, would you? <clears throat> so that, that must have hurt, man. We really did. Women, it's like they always go for our nuts. My <laughs> fault. You do know what's gonna happen next, though, eh? You got a pretty good idea here. Yeah. You may be a little scared. Yeah, actually, I am. Oh, man, that's honesty. I like that. <laughs> hey, Molly. Barbosa set my voice up to die. I couldn't let that slide. So yes, I shot that piece of shit brother of yours. I'd do it again. See, it wasn't just business. I did it because he was an evil piece of shit. You think I don't know you set us up? But after all the years, you walked the line for me. Finally, you told me the truth. But about murdering my brother. Ah, come on, Molly. It's me, your mother, not Sue. Let him walk out of here. It's no shame on you. I always knew that it was you. But now you're gonna suffer watching him suffer. Cutty, hold on. You see this black beauty right here? She was trained in the school for the Americas, where the most Devious motherfuckers go to learn how to torture and do fucked up shit. She knows things. I call her LL, cause she loves to torture. Hey. Okay. Wow. Listen, I know we have this crazy connection. I see it too. I do. I don't think now's the time. To Play. Come to place. You know what I mean? 
Now you bite the wood, Sue. You know, Felix, I was thinking maybe you could bite mine first. <laughs> Unless you want to bite your own fucking tongue off. Bite the wood, motherfucker. <clears throat> See, this is called the Tucker <clears throat> Telephone. They use it on unruly prisoners back in the old south. A long distance phone call. That's how they phrased it. Baby girl. Light them up! Adrenaline again, and you don't want to have a heart attack. Baby girl, make another long distance call. You don't have to do that either. Light him up. Everybody put your fucking guns down now! Get your gun on the floor now! Oh shit. Fucking jujitsu I was telling you about. I think the odds are against you, mate. I won't be too sure about that, mate. Drop your weapons! Don't want to hurt anyone. Just want the money. Bitch in the purple. Get over there. Anyone fucking moves, stitch into the wallpaper. All right, you two in the back. Untie them, both of them. Untie them now! I'm not fucking about! I will shoot you. You think I give a fuck? I've been shot before. Place some faces, motherfucker. I'll find you. Gonna turn around in 6 5. Lights your niggas gonna be right here. Bang, bang. Shut the fuck up and sit down.
Jesus Christ, what have you done? What have you done? I got a number off the big. Made a deal to save your ass. Get in. Get in the car, Sue. Get in the fucking car! <sighs> I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna head back towards Vegas. What with that crazy bitch? Man, what can I tell you? We're getting along these days. Can you mention? Why is she mellow with age then? Yeah, maybe she has. Maybe she hasn't. Who knows? What I do know is that uh, I think it's time I bring a little balance into my life, yeah? Look, I'm sorry I didn't go the way we wanted it to, but tell me, mate. What's okay, Frenchie? You don't need to apologize. Uh, not your fault, right? We did the best we could. Tommy was a big boy. Knew what he was getting into. By the way, you remember what I said about me and Tommy? Well, we go way back, you know. Way back. We've been through a lot together, but... Me and him never went through what you and I went through. So I want you to know something. Anything you want, anytime, anywhere. I'll be there for you, all right? It's funny you should say that, actually, because, um... Had an interesting phone call this morning from my old boss. He's got a mate who's setting up a gig in the East Coast and he reckons that my temperament might be perfect for the job. I'm gonna head out there. You're welcome to join me if you want. You didn't have to take me up on it so quick, French. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, it's the East Coast, you know. It's cold. I got brittle bones, I'm an old man. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm head back to Vegas. That's where I need to be. Oh, dry come heat. on, mate. Come That's on. the dry heat. No harm in seeing what they've got to say, mate, yeah? Come on. Security or collection? Um... More like collection, I think. Wait a minute. This is coming from a man who told me he hates the job. I do hate this job, mate, but it's like you said. I'm pretty good at it. So are you, actually. Unless you think you're getting too old for it. Fuck you, Frenchie. <laughs> Come on, mate, what'd you say? <laughs> huh? I'm good. You sure? Yeah. See it yourself, old man. Wait a minute. What is this? I don't know. Well, I'll it's, tell uh... you what it is. This is a 360. It's a small block. It's an AMX. Yeah? Yeah. 72. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is beautiful. I know. You know what? Maybe you meet and greet never hurt anybody, am I right? Never hurt anybody, mate. May I? You may, sir. Be my guest. Thank you, Mr. French. <laughs> She's beautiful, right? She's beautiful, Frenchy. You know what? Maybe I am rubbing off on you a little bit, yeah? A little bit. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, mate. It's great, but it's still fucking French, you know? Frenchy, don't be so temperamental. I told you once, I've told you twice. It's a ton of them dealing, okay? You must be out of your mind, man. One of those head kicks rattle your brain cells. I don't want to do it. 